<laughs> we turn to Dr. Justina Ford when she graduated from medical school back in 1899. Of course, she had no idea her journey would bring her to Colorado after the turn of the century. Dr. Ford became the first African-American female doctor in Denver. That was 1902. Now, because of the color of her skin, she had to practice out of her home. That was in Five Points. As part of our Black History Month coverage, our Byron Reed shows us how her home is now playing an important role in bringing history to life. Kind of gather up in the front hallway. Walking into the house of Dr. Justina Ford. Who was the first black woman licensed doctor in Colorado. You get a lesson in history just by looking at its walls. She was granted her medical license in 1902, but denied membership to the Colorado Medical Society. You had to have the membership to be on staff at the hospital, so she set up practice in her home. Her house is now the residence of the Black American West Museum and Heritage Center. And knew in the range of eight to 11 languages and dialects. Where volunteer wow. Terry Gentry doesn't mind letting others know just what kind of person Dr. Ford was. Her intention was to make sure that each and every patient that came into her realm were well taken care of. Over the course of 50 years, Dr. Ford helped deliver over 7,000 newborns. She had people in her house all the time because she used the home for examining her patients. She practiced in the Five Points neighborhood, one of the few places in Denver blacks could live at the time. By 1910, there were probably about 4,500 black folks in Denver. Her agenda was to make sure that each and every patient she encountered had the best medical care that they could possibly receive, regardless of their income. In this room. Now, her house lets its visitors hear the stories from the past. By George Morrison was a classically trained concert violinist. Once owned by a doctor who brought new life into her neighborhood. And this was an incredible community to become a part of. And Dr. Ford was part of that community. In Denver, Byron Reed, Nine News. It's a great piece of history. In 1984, Dr. Ford's home underwent restoration. Now that took four years. The museum's founder, Paul Stewart, then moved the museum from Arapaho Street to California Street. And for more on Black History Month stories, you can go to our website, 9news.com. Check them out.